This week on the 411, Tiger, Gaze, and Food. We start off the show this week with this. Tiger Woods is back. After winning the Farmers Insurance Open for the seventh time, the self-described Cabin Asians win signaled that perhaps he's back to his winning ways, with a Torrey Pines victory usually being a harbinger for his annual performance. The six previous times he's won the tournament, he's gone on to win at least four other tournaments in the same year. When asked whether the victory meant that he's back and he's ready to climb back into his winning ways, Wood said, I never left. Speaking of leaving, Detroit is going bankrupt. Michigan Governor Rick Snyder has ordered an audit of the city's books as the Motor City's budget problems have worsened to the point where it could run out of money within weeks or months that would lead to the largest ever Chapter 9 municipal bankruptcy in U.S. history. That's sad, really. Next up, if you're trying to slim down, eat lunch early. Those who eat early lunches tend to lose more weight than those who had their midday meal on the later side, according to a new study co-authored by Frank Shear of Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School. Mr. Shear opined, we should now seriously start to consider the timing of food, not just what we eat, but also when we eat it. Interesting, food for thought. Next up, speaking of losing weight, a University of Oxford study found that a vegetarian diet can reduce a person's risk of heart disease by 32% compared to a meat and fish eater diet, lowering the risk of hospitalization or death from cardiovascular disease. Vegetarians have lower cholesterol levels and blood pressure to boot. Very interesting. And this just in. For gays, lesbians, and bisexuals, leading a double life can affect their physical and mental health. A joint study by McGill University and the University of Montreal found that those who came out, quote unquote, to family, friends, and coworkers were psychologically healthier and had lower stress hormone levels and fewer signs of depression than those who were still in the closet. Similarly, a study from Columbia University last year found that after Massachusetts enacted its same-sex marriage law in 2003, there was a significant drop in medical and mental health care visits incurred by gay men. So that's all good news, unless, of course, you're a teammate or a fan of the San Francisco 49ers' Chris Culliver. In other gay-related news, Mr. Culliver of the Super Bowl-bound San Francisco 49ers set off a firestorm this week in New Orleans while he shared anti-gay comments. No, we don't got no gay people on the team, he said. They gotta get up out of here. If they do, can't be with that sweet stuff, unquote. The star cornerback has since apologized for his statements, suggesting the derogatory comments were a reflection of his thoughts in his head, but not feelings that are truly in his heart. Mr. Culliver was barraged with media queries this week in his preparation for Sunday's big game. So I guess that's what teams mean when they talk about distractions leading up to the Super Bowl. So great job, Mr. Culliver. In other foot and mouth related news, a Republican lawmaker in Idaho likened Obamacare to the Holocaust, suggesting private health insurance companies were like the Jews boarding the trains to concentration camps with the federal government playing the role of the Nazis who would eventually pull the trigger to destroy them. Awesome. In an email sent out to supporters and messages posted on her Twitter account last week, State Senator Cheryl Knoxville suggested the insurance companies are creating their own tombs. She went on to defend her statement suggesting, I felt badly for the Jews. It wasn't just the Jews, but Jews and Christians and Catholics and priests. She continued, my thing was that they didn't know what was going on. The insurance companies are not realizing what's going to end up in their demise. Palinesque. So in closing, if you're still trying to keep your New Year's resolution about getting healthier, you should probably, number one, come out of the closet and hold off cheering for Chris Culliver of the 49ers during the Super Bowl and definitely stay away from some of the 1.25 billion pounds of chicken wings that are consumed on Super Bowl Sunday and lean more towards the 69.6 million pounds of avocados that are going into the guacamole across the country. But remember to eat all that vegetarian food earlier in the day so you can stay healthy and thus off Obamacare because it contributes to the killing off of health insurance companies just like the Nazis killed off the Jews. And we all know Hitler was a vegetarian. That's all we have for this week on the 411. Find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I'm Matt Simon, and this is the 411.